Welcome to my gentle morning yoga flow. Come to a comfortable seated position. Place your hands on your kneecaps and close your eyes for a few moments. Take a few deep breaths in and out through the nose, observing the rise and fall of your chest. With your eyes soft, the jaw is soft, and the shoulders relaxed. Another deep breath in and another deep breath out. Inhale, blink the eyes open. Reach your right hand to the right side. Lift your left arm up and over, moving into a side stretch. Keeping both hips on the floor, especially left hip. Use every inhalation to get a bit longer. Exhale, bend your right elbow. Breathing in, come back to center. Exhale, moving on to the other side. Left hand to left side. Right arm is reaching up and over. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Keeping both hips on the floor. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Place both hands on your kneecaps. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, draw the belly in, curve your spine. Inhale, lift the chest, shoulders down. Exhale, draw belly in. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, back. Again, breathe in, lift the heart center. Exhale, curve your spine. Now we're going to move from right, forward, left and back. In your own time moving in a circle and as you move from one side to the other side try to keep the hips down and then change direction inhale forward and exhale back take your time enjoy every single movement Inhale, come into all fours. Have your hands shoulder width apart and your knees hip width apart. Checking the alignment. From here, tuck your pelvis under. Inhale, drop your belly and look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tilt the pelvis, push the floor away with your hands. And inhale, look up. Exhale the other way around, push the floor away, draw belly in. Inhale, lengthen the spine looking up. Again, exhale, push the floor away. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up towards the ceiling. One more time, exhale, push the floor away. And inhale, look up. Exhale, push floor away. Inhale, come back to neutral spine. Lift the right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, right hand back down to the floor. Inhale, open up to the left. Exhale, left hand down, right side again. Inhale, reach up, keep your hips level. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, open up the left side. Don't move the hips. Inhale, only rotating from the spine. Exhale, hand back down, beautiful. And again, inhale, left side. Exhale, hand down. Now inhale, reach the right arm up. Take the right arm underneath the left arm. Right shoulder down towards the mat. Now you have the option of extending the left arm to the front. Make sure your hips are over your knees. Soften your neck. Relax the eyes. This is a beautiful shoulder stretch. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Enjoying every single moment. Inhale, bend your left arm, come back into all fours. Lift your left arm up, take it underneath the right arm. Relax your head down, reach your right arm all the way to the front. And then 
take a few breaths here and see if you can with every exhalation rotate your rib cage to the right side a bit more without moving the hips deep breath in and deep breath out Inhale, bend your right arm, come back into all fours. Now we're going to step the right foot back behind you and try to press the right heel towards the floor. We're stretching the back of the right leg. Start to draw the belly in towards the spine so you don't want to collapse in your back. You don't want to arch your back. Activate your core and enjoy the stretch. Slowly changing sides, press the left heel back towards the floor, stretching the back of the left leg. Again, be aware of your spine. Keep your core engaged. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out through the nose. Breathing in. And breathing out, slowly coming out of the pose. Now bring your big toes together. Take your hips back. Extend your arms all the way to the front. And relax your forehead down to the floor into your child's pose. And just take a few moments here in your child's pose. Soften your chest down. Inhale, come into all fours. Reach your hands forward. Tuck your toes under. Keep the knees bent as you lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Keep the length in the spine. Now from here you can start to pedal the feet up and down. Usually we feel a bit stiffer in the mornings, so don't be surprised. And then just keep the right heel pressing down. And then change, keep pressing the left heel towards the floor and make sure your hips are really, really high. Now straighten both legs, straighten both arms. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, walk your feet slowly to the front of the mat. Keep your feet hip width apart, grab opposite elbows. Just hold your forward fold. If you want to shake your head right to left or yes and no, feel free to do that. Relax your neck completely. Relax the jaw. Inhale, reach the arms up over the side, palms touch. Exhale, bring your hands in front of your chest. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, soften your shoulders. Interlace hands behind the back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Make sure you keep your hips over your heels. Slightly taking the weight forward towards the toes. Soften the eyes. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale, relax your neck completely. Inhale, come up using your glutes. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands in front of the chest. Bring your feet together, staying at the front of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up and over. Exhale, fold forward. Relax your head. Inhale, prepare to lift halfway, hands either on the floor or on your shin or calf. Exhale, both hands down, step the left foot back, step the right foot back, come into your plank, shoulders over the wrists. From here, very slowly, coming down on your belly. Turn your feet around, place the forearms in front of you, 
come into your Sphinx, slowly looking forward, shoulders relaxed, tailbone down, breathing in. Exhale, chest back down, reach the hands back, come back to your downward facing dog, tailbone lifts, stretch the spine, stretch arms, keep the hands really firm, deep breath in and deep breath out. Again, inhale and exhale. Slowly walk your feet back to the front of the mat. Inhale, hands on your shin, thigh or floor. Exhale, forward fold, look at your navel. Head is relaxed. Inhale, press into the feet, lift the arms up over the side, extend through fingers. Exhale, hands in front of your chest, shoulders relaxed. Eyes soft. Inhale, reach the arms up, extend. Exhale, come back to your forward fold, look at your belly button. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, both hands back down. Step the right foot back, step the left foot back into your plank. Strong core, shoulders over the wrists. Chaturanga Dandasan or all the way down on your belly. Inhale into your cobra or up dog, lift the chest. And then use the exhalation to come back to your downward facing dog. Again, holding your downward facing dog. Press the hands towards the floor. Keep the hips lifted. Deep breath in, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, walk your feet back to the front, lift halfway, exhale, fold forward, relax your head, inhale, reach the arms back up and over, Exhale, hands in front of your chest, shoulders relaxed. Come into your chair, drop your hips, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway, flat back. Exhale, hands down, step it back into your plank, shoulders over your wrists. From here again, Chaturanga or modification. Inhale into your Cobra Up Dog, lift the heart, knees off the floor if you are an Up Dog. Exhale, come back to Downward Facing Dog. Take a few breaths here. Inhale, lift the right leg up in the air, turn your right thigh in, stretch arms. Exhale, bend your right leg, place the right foot between hands. Lower your left knee down, gazing forward. You can either keep the hands on the floor, on your thigh, or taking the arms up, stretch the fingers, and really activating that left quad. Keep the chest lifted. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, inhaling. Exhale, left hand down, tuck your left toes under, lift the left knee off the floor. Reach your right arm up and over. So stretch the right hand up towards the ceiling. Keep that left leg straight. Use the exhalation to turn the rib cage to the right side. Exhale, right hand down, step it back into your downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift the left leg up, turn your left thigh in. Use the exhalation to place the left foot between the hands. Lower your right knee towards the floor. Again, hands can be either on the floor, on your thigh, or you can reach the arms up towards the ceiling, stretching fingers keeping the sternum lifted. 
activate the right quad. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Inhale, exhale. One more. Relax the right hand down. Tuck your right toes under and this time lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. Rotate the rib cage to the left side using the exhalation. Deep breath in. Exhale, turn the rib cage to the left. Both hands down, step it back into your downward facing dog. Extend arms. Breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale and one more exhale. Drop your knees down, big toes touch. Come back to your child's pose for a few breaths. Just soften here. Come back to your breath. If you have forgotten to listen to your breath, this is a good way of resetting. Inhale, coming back into your downward facing dog. Reach the hips up and back. Inhale, step your right foot between the hands, slowly coming up into your Trikonasana triangle pose. Press the left heel strongly towards the floor and then place the right hand either on the floor, shin or a bit higher. Extend the left arm up towards the ceiling. Using your left outer hip strongly. Inhale. Exhale if you can, looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale, press into both feet to come up. Exhale, reach back with your right arm, keeping your front leg straight. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, inhale. Exhale, bend your right leg, place both hands back on the floor, step it back into your plank, Chaturanga Dandasana from here. Inhale into your up dog, lift the chest. Exhale, come back to your downward facing dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, step the left foot forward, slowly coming up into your triangle pose. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Reach the left hand either on the floor, shin or bit higher. Right arm is extending up towards the ceiling. Use your right outer hip strongly. Press the right heel towards the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. Press into both feet to come up and reach your left arm up and back this time, keeping the front leg straight. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back to center, both hands to the floor, into your plank, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale into your dog, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hold your down dog here. Breathe in and breathe out. Beautiful. Inhale, step the right foot forward, turn your back toes in, come into warrior two. Extend the arms, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach back with your right arm into reverse warrior. Keep bending the front leg. Inhale. Exhale, both hands back down to the floor. Step it back into your plank. Shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale into your dog, lift the chest. And then exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, step the left foot forward, coming into your warrior two. Bend your front leg, stretch the back leg. Breathing in, breathing out, shoulders relaxed. 
Inhale, reach back with your left arm and keep bending the front leg. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, both hands back down to the floor. Step it back into your plank. Strong core, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into your dog, lift the chest. Exhale, come back to your downward facing dog. Again, holding it here in your downward facing dog. Come back to your breath. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Step the right foot between your hands. Lower your left knee towards the floor and lift your chest. Place the right arm on your right thigh. Lift the left arm up and exhale, lean to the right side. Stretching the left side of the body. Breathing in. Breathing out. Tuck your back toes under. Moving into the twist, palms together. If you want, lift your left knee off the floor. Using the exhalation to turn the rib cage to the right side. Breathe in. Exhale, both hands back down. Step it back into your plank, Chaturanga. Inhale into your dog, lift the chest. Exhale, come back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Left arm, left thigh, lift the right arm up. Exhale, reach over to the left side, stretching the right side of the body. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Now moving on to the twist. Palms together. You can either keep the right knee on the floor or you can lift it up. Use the exhalation, turn the rib cage a bit more to the left side. Breathing in and breathing out. Both hands back down into your plank. Chaturanga with the exhalation. Inhale into your dog. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Slowly walk your hands back towards your feet. Now you can either grab your elbows or you can grab your big toes. If you want to slide your hands underneath the feet, that's also an option. Just hold it here for a few breaths. Relax the whole spine. Relax the back of the neck. Relax the facial muscles. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, place the hands in front of you, moving into a full squat. Place the hands in front of the chest, shoulders relaxed. Now, if you are struggling with a squat, you can also move into a half squat. Or you could even place a few blocks underneath the hips or a few cushions. Close the eyes and just enjoy. One more breath and then slowly lower your hips down to the floor. Stretch the legs to the front. Keep your spine lifted. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, grab the big toes or you could even use a strap here. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward, relax the back of the neck. Again, you can close the eyes here, just enjoying the stretch, breathing in and breathing out. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Breathing in and breathing out. And exhale. Again, breathing in. Exhale, letting go. Inhale, slowly coming back up. Reach the hands back, fingertips facing forward. Bend your knees. Lift pelvis, lift chest up. 
You can either look forward up towards the ceiling or if your neck is okay, you can look back. Hold it here with the hips lifted. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower your hips down. Keep the knees bent. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Breathe in, lengthen the spine. Exhale, turn to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to center. Reach your right arm over, left hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist to the left. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, come back to center. And now we're gonna lie on the back. Slowly rolling back, one vertebrae by vertebrae. And then keep the knees bent. Make sure your lower back is touching the floor so you can check if you're arching the spine. Keep the back of the neck long. From here. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. One more deep breath in, exhale. Now we move into a bridge pose. Press the feet down, lift the pelvis up, squeeze buttocks, keep your quads active, press the arms down towards the floor. Hold it here. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Another breath. Exhale, lower your upper, middle, lower back down to the floor. Inhale, bring the right knee in towards the chest. And then bring the left knee in towards the chest. Just gently rolling from side to side. Massage your back. Place the arms back on the floor. Stretch the legs up towards the ceiling. Keeping your legs vertical. And if you want to move into shoulder stand, swing the legs back first into plow, halasana. And from there you place the hands on your lower back. Bring your elbows a bit closer together and extend the legs up towards the ceiling. Keep your legs active. You can close the eyes if you want, holding your shoulder stand or option one. With the next exhalation lower the legs over your head, back into plow. And very, very slowly, we're gonna take the legs back to the front of the mats. Use your core strength. Moving on into fish pose. Place the hands underneath the buttocks. Start to lift the chest, arch the back, crown of the head on the floor. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Relax the back of the neck back down to the floor. And now moving into your very final pose, into Shavasana, relaxation. Try to completely let go for the next few minutes, relaxing the whole body. Just try to be still without thinking of any to-do lists of anything. Just let go. Start to slowly move your hands and your feet, bending both legs, the right and the left. And 
and then bring the right knee in towards the chest and then the left knee. Slowly rolling over to the right side, support your head. And from there coming back to seated, crossing your legs over and placing the hands in front of the chest, eyes closed. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Enjoy the stillness. Inhale, exhale bowing forward, be thankful for yourself for your practice today. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me.